from one data type that best reflect its relations with another abstract. In the integrate Amy autoencoder based integrative multiomics data embedding that allows for confounder adjustments. Abstract. In the integrative analyses of omics data, it is often of interest to extract data representation from one data type that best reflect its relations with another data type. This task is traditionally fulfilled by linear methods such as canonical correlation analysis, CCA, and partial least squares, PLS. However, information contained in one data type pertaining to the other data type may be complex and in nonlinear form. Deep learning provides a convenient alternative to extract low dimensional nonlinear data embedding. In addition, the deep learning setup can naturally incorporate the effects of clinical confounding factors into the integrative analysis. Here we report a deep learning setup, named autoencoder-based integrative multi-omics data embedding, AIME, to extract data representation for omics data integrative analysis. The method can adjust for confounder variables, achieve informative data embedding, rank features in terms of their contributions, and find pairs of features from the two data types that are related to each other through the data embedding. In simulation studies, the method was highly effective in the extraction of major contributing features between data types. Using two real microRNA gene expression datasets, one with confounder variables and one without, we show that Amy excluded the influence of confounders and extracted biologically plausible novel information. The R package based on Keras and the TensorFlow backend is available at https colon slash slash github.com slash tianweiyu slash Amy. Author Summary Integrative analysis, i.e. jointly analyzing two or more data matrices, is becoming more and more common in omics research. One type of integrative analysis measures the association between two groups of variables by finding low-dimensional spaces that maximize certain measures of agreement between the data matrices. Representative methods in this area include canonical correlation analysis, CCA, partial least squares, PLS, multiomics factor analysis, MOFA, integrative clustering, iCluster, similarity network fusion, SNF, joint singular value decomposition, JSVD etc. Here we present a new method, autoencoder-based integrative multi-omics data embedding, AIME. The method jointly analyzes two data matrices. It finds data embedding from the input data matrix that best preserves its relation with the output data matrix. It has several characteristics. 1. It is based on neural network. Hence it can detect nonlinear associations between the data matrices. 2. It can adjust for confounding variables such as age, gender, ethnicity, etc., to remove their effects in the low-dimensional space. 3. It estimates pairwise relations between variables in the two data matrices. It is a useful addition to the tools for integrative analysis. Figures Fig 12, Fig 1, Fig 2, Fig 3, Fig 4, Fig 5, Fig 6, Fig 7, Table 1, Fig 8, Fig 9, Fig 10, Fig 11, Fig 12, Fig 1, Fig 2, Fig 3. Citation, UT, 2022, Amy, autoencoder-based integrative multi-omics data embedding that allows for confounder adjustments. Close copy bio 18.1, E1009826. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.peakb.1009826. Editor, Wei Li, Children's National Hospital, United States. Received, March 1, 2021, accepted, January 11, 2022, published, January 26, 2022. Copyright, Copyright 2022 Tim Weiyu. This is an open access article distributed under the terms of the Creative Commons Attribution License, which permits unrestricted use, distribution, and reproduction in any medium, provided the original author and source are credited. Data availability. The CCLE data is available from the CCLE website at https colon slash slash sites.broadinstitute.org slash go slash. The TCGA BRCA data is available from the GDC data portal https colon slash slash portal.gdc.cancer.gov slash. The R package is available at https colon slash slash github.com slash timwayu slash amy. The data analysis are codes used in generating the results in this manuscript is available at https colon slash slash github.com slash tianweiyu slash amy related. Funding, Thai has been partially supported by the University Development Fund of Kukshin Jun, UDF 010185. The funder played no role in the study design, data collection and analysis, decision to publish, or preparation of the manuscript. Competing interests, the authors have declared that no competing interests exist. This is a closed computational biology methods paper. 1. 
Introduction In more and more studies, multiple omics data are collected on the same set of subjects to obtain a global view of the molecular signature of a disease. When analyzing such data, a common task is to find data embedding in a lower dimensional space from one data type that best preserves the information pertaining to another data type. Such data embedding can reveal mechanistic relations between the data types or serve as extracted predictors and predictive models. To achieve data embedding while considering two data types, the most common methods are dimension reduction approaches including canonical correlation analysis, CCA, partial least squares, PLS, and their variants, which are based on, sparse, linear projections of the data, 1 to 3. Given the complexity of omics data, nonlinear equivalents to such linear methods were developed, such as kernel-based, 4, and deep learning-based CCA, 5. Beside dimension reduction, factorization and clustering techniques were also developed to analyze multiple data types collected on the same set of samples. For example, iCluster and other multi-view clustering algorithms seek the co-clustering of variables from different omics data types, 6, 7. Multi-omics factor analysis, MOFA, and MOFA2 find data embedding by jointly modeling variation across data types, 8, 9. Joint Singular Value Decomposition, JSVD, or Simultaneous Component Analysis, SCA, was used to find a single set of unitary matrices to simultaneously diagonalize multiple matrices. 10. Similarity Network Fusion, SNF, combines multi-omics data through the fusion of sample similarity network. 11. In biomedical studies, it is often of interest to extract data representation while adjusting for linear-slash-nonlinear effects of clinical confounding factors, such as age, gender, ethnicity, batch effects etc. Current approaches do not adjust for confounders, which could lead to data embedding and sample grouping that are heavily influenced by the confounding factors, weakening the signal from true biological relations between the data types. Autoencoder is a deep learning-based nonlinear embedding approach that is typically used to achieve sparse data representation from a single data set. 12. Reduce noise. 13. Impute missing values. 14. Conduct pre-training for classification tasks. 15. And make functional inferences. 16 to 19. A supervised autoencoder, SAE, is an autoencoder with the additional supervised loss component on the representation layer, which factors in a second data type, with a goal of improving generalization performance. 20. Variants of autoencoders have been used in combining multiple data matrices. In terms of integrative analysis, joint learning schemes, 21,22, are used to combine multi-omics data in both the input and reconstruction layers in order to find their interactions for the prediction task. Combining joint learning with probabilistic Gaussian mixture model was able to learn informative joint latent features to construct the association between omics data and fine cell heterogeneity. 23. In this study, our goal is geared towards data interpretation. We aim at achieving nonlinear data embedding from one omics data type in order to preserve the information pertaining to another omics data type. Prediction or reconstruction is not a major concern. We modify the autoencoder structure by using two data types in the input and reconstruction layers respectively, and allowing contributions from clinical confounding factors by including them as auxiliary inputs at the representation layer. The approach is different than existing joint learning methods, 21 to 23, in that it doesn't seek joint embedding which could be a mixture of the two data types, in which their individual contributions are hard to separate, and it doesn't involve outcome variables. It is also different than deep learning-based CCA, 5, which tries to find two separate embeddings from the two data types that are highly correlated, and doesn't allow the adjustment of confounders. Here our main interest is to find features in one data type that influence the other data type. The method is named Autoencoder-Based Integrative Multi-Omics Data Embedding, AIME. In simulations, we show the method can effectively extract influential features. When sample size is large, the method can be more sensitive than CCA and PLS even when all relations are linear. In real data analysis, the method can exclude the superficial relations caused by clinical confounding factors and extract meaningful miRNAs that influence gene expression. 2. Methods 2.1. The setup. Assume there are two types of high-throughput measurements on the same set of samples. Let xn times p denote the first data type, where there are p features and n samples. Let n times q denote the second data type, where there are q features and n samples. Our interest is to extract the low-dimensional nonlinear data embedding from the x matrix, n times r, where r is small, such that the e matrix contains as much information to nonlinearly reconstruct the y matrix as possible. 
we set up a neural network structure that is similar to autoencoder, as shown in Fig1. Different from the typical autoencoder, the input layer and reconstruction layer use two different omics data types. The input layer contains p variables corresponding to the columns of the X matrix. The output layer contains q variables corresponding to the columns of the Y matrix. In addition to the input data X, clinical confounders such as age, gender, ethnicity, batch, etc., can form another matrix CN times S. Their effects can be adjusted for by inserting the variables in C as auxiliary variables at the bottleneck layer. This encourages the model to find nonlinear data embedding of X that contribute to the reconstruction of Y, independent of the clinical confounders. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 1. The setup of the model. Xn times P is the input data. There are P variables in N samples. N times Q is the output data. There are Q variables in N samples. N times R is the low dimensional nonlinear data embedding, where R is small. Clinical confounders such as age, gender, ethnicity, batch, etc., form the matrix CN times S. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0 one. In some sense, this is a prediction structure with very high dimensional outcome. Such a prediction task is unrealistic, and our goal is not prediction. With a very narrow bottleneck layer in the middle, we essentially seek a nonlinear dimension reduction of the input data X, which best preserves the information pertaining to the output data Y, while adjusting for confounding factors in matrix C following traditional statistical terminology and dimension reduction, we call the columns of the embedded data matrix E components in this manuscript. 2.2. Implementation. The program was implemented in our using the Keras Neural Networks API, 24, to facilitate users of R to conduct the analysis. The implementation requires both R and the TensorFlow backend. With regard to the sizes of the layers of the network, the method allows three different ways for the user to specify. 1. The user can directly specify the sizes of all the individual layers. 2. The user can input a shrinkage factor, such that the size of each layer in the encoder is the product of the size of the previous layer and the shrinkage factor, and the size of each decoder layer is the product of the next layer and the shrinkage factor. 3. The user can input the desired number of input slash out layers, and the shrinkage factor is calculated based on the number of layers. Dropout rates can be specified to be uniform across all layers, or in a layer-by-layer -layer manner. Given the number of layers and dropout rates, the data is split into training and testing sets. The prediction error rate on the testing set is used to select the number of training epochs. Once the number of epochs is determined, the full data set is used to fit the model again. 2.3. Estimating feature importance. To find which feature from the input matrix X is more influential, we use a permutation scheme. We fix the parameters in the trained model. In each iteration, one variable in the X matrix is permuted, and new embedding is calculated based on the existing parameters. We then compare the new embedded data with the embedded data from the unpermuted data. The amount of location shift, measured by the sum of squared distances across all the embedded data points, is taken as the importance of the permuted variable. Similarly, we estimate the pairwise influence, i.e. the influence of one variable in the X matrix on one variable in the Y matrix in the same permutation, by recording the amount of change of each Y variable, when the X variables are permuted. 2.4. Selecting important input variables and input-output variable pairs using a model-based approach. The important scores of the input variables are all positive. Based on our empirical observations across multiple datasets, the score distribution of the irrelevant input variables can be modeled very well by the gamma distribution. Thus we adopt a model-based approach that follows the general idea of local false discovery rate, FDR, 25. In this approach, we consider the observed important scores to follow a mixture distribution with two components the null, unimportant variables, distribution that is a gamma distribution with unknown parameters, and the non-null, important variables, distribution with unknown parametric form. We use the following procedure to estimate the FDR of each input variable. Use kernel density estimator to estimate the non-parametric distribution of the important scores. Find the mode of the distribution. Select the lower portion of the important scores that are below a certain percentile pi 0, and assume most of these selected important scores are from the null distribution. This is because the null important scores tend to be low. 
using the scores below pi 0, estimate the shape and scale parameters of the gamma distribution. Calculate the sum of squared difference below the mode, between the gamma density obtained in step 2, scaled by pi 0, and the kernel density obtained in step 1. This is the indicator how well the gamma density fits the null component of the distribution. Vary pi 0 from 0 0.6 to 0 0.99, with a step size of 0 0.01. Find the pi zero that yields the smallest difference in step three. Using the pi zero found in step four and the corresponding gamma density, denoted F zero, and the kernel density found in step one, denoted F, find the local FDR value at any given location by. Find the smallest Z value such that FDR Z is below a predetermined threshold. Any important score higher than this value is considered significant. 2.5. Tuning hyperparameters. In this study, we use the multivariate skewness and kurtosis of the embedded data to select the number of layers and dropout rates. At each hyperparameter setting, the data embedding, matrix E, is computed, and the average absolute pairwise correlation between the columns of the E matrix is calculated. Among the settings for which the average correlation is below a threshold, indicating the embedded dimensions are not duplicating information, the Martia's multivariate skewness and kurtosis coefficients are calculated for the embedded data, 26. We rank each setting by the skewness and kurtosis of the embedded data, and then select the setting that yield the highest average rank of skewness and kurtosis. This process selects parameter settings that yield embedding that is not highly correlated, as well as with a distribution far from multivariate normal. This is because a random projection of the data into lower dimensions tend to yield multivariate normal distribution. The criterion we use here is similar to that of projection pursuit, 27. 2.6 Simulation study. We use the following procedure to generate simulated data. Generate the X matrix with NX variables and N samples using multivariate normal distribution. The mean vector is zero. The diagonal elements of the variance covariance matrix sigma is one, and all off diagonal elements take value rho, which is a value between zero and one. Inverse normal transform X and subtract 0 0.5, such that the values in the X matrix are between minus 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Select the first K variables in the X matrix. Generate three linear combinations of the K variables, where the beta S are randomly sampled from a uniform distribution on, minus 2, minus 1, 1, 2. Generate the first N times K variables in the Y matrix, by first generating a linear combination of the Z variables, RJ equals alpha J1 Z1 plus alpha J2 Z2 plus alpha J3 Z3, J equals 1 comma dot comma MK, where the alpha S are randomly sampled from a uniform distribution on, minus 2, minus 1, 1 comma 2. Then the R variables are rescaled to facilitate nonlinear transformation, by subtracting the mean and dividing by 3 times the standard deviation. This transformation ensures most of the R values are between minus 1 and 1. We then take EG equals FJRJ, J equals 1, comma dot comma NK, where FJ is sampled from five different functions, 1, FR equals R, 2, FR equals vertical bar R vertical bar, 3, FR equals sine, 5 times R plus 0 dot 5 times pi, 4, FR equals 2R2, and 5, a step function that takes value 1 when R is between the 25th and 75th percentiles, and 0 otherwise. The proportion of Ys that receive the original R values without any transformation is controlled by a hyperparameter. Gaussian random noise is added to each of the Y variables, such that the noise variance is one tenth of that of the Y variable. The remaining NY minus MK variables in the Y matrix are sampled from multivariate normal distribution of mean vector is zero, and variance covariance matrix with diagonal value one and off diagonal value rho. All the variables in the Y matrix are then rescaled to have mean zero and standard deviation one. We then analyze the simulated data using six methods, AMI, CCA, PLS, MOFA2, JSVD, and iCluster2. For simplicity, we fix the number of input layers and output layers of AMI at 3, and the dropout rate at 0.4. For each of the methods, we test two dimensionalities of the embedded data 3 and K, and report from the setting that yields better results. We compare the variable importance ranking generated by each method, i.e. whether the first K variables in the X matrix receive higher importance scores, using the area under the curve, AUC, of the precision recall, PR, curve. A number of scenarios, as specified by the combinations of NX, NY, K, M, N, Rho, and the proportion of Ys that are linearly associated with X, i.e. receiving the original R values without any nonlinear transformation. 
In each scenario, the simulation was repeated 10 times, and the average PRAUC value was taken. 2.7. Datasets and Software Implementations Two datasets were used in the manuscript. The first was the Cancer Cell Line Encyclopedia, CCLE, microRNA and gene expression dataset. The CCLE is a collection of 1,000 cancer cell lines, on which multiple omics measurements were made in order to elucidate the mechanisms of different cancers. 28. The data was downloaded from the CCLE website at https colon slash slash sites.broadinstitute.org slash col slash. The second dataset was the Cancer Genome Atlas, TCGA, Breast Cancer, BRCA, MicroRNA and Gene Expression Dataset, 29. The data was downloaded from the GDC data portal https colon slash slash portal.gdc.cancer.gov slash. Amy implementation is at https colon slash slash github.com slash jimwayu slash amy. The installation can be simply done using devtools colon install underscore github timwayu slash amy. Some examples are included in the GitHub description page. Some key parameters include comp, the dimension of the embedded data, in dot layers and out dot layers, the number of layers for the encoder and decoder, max dot dropout, the maximum dropout rate, flat dot dropout, whether a single dropout rate is used across all layers, as opposed to outer layers use higher dropout, max dot epics, the maximum number of epics in the training, importance dot permutations, how many permutations to conduct to find variable importance, pairwise dot importance, true slash false whether to compute pairwise importance between input and output variables. For the other parameters and details in the default settings, please refer to the GitHub web page in the help file. The method is somewhat sensitive to the setting of some hyperparameters, namely the number of encoder slash decoder layers and dropout rate. When the layers are too few, the embedded data tend to be closer to multivariate Gaussian. When the layers are too many, the embedded data tend to fall on combinations of line segments. To aid hyperparameter tuning, we provide a utility amy.select, which runs through a number of hyperparameter combinations, and generates a PDF file with embeddings at each setting, as well as the skewness slash kurtosis measurements at each setting, for the user to conduct an informed hyperparameter selection. In the simulations and data analyzes, we compared with the methods CCA, PLS, iCluster2, JSVD and MOFA2. For CCA and PLS, we use the implementation in the Bioconductor Package Mixomics, 30. For MOFA2, we use the implementation downloaded from Bioconductor, 8. For iCluster2, we use the CRAN Package iCluster, 6,31. For JSVD, we use the CRAN Package Multiway, 32. 3. Results in Discussion 3.1 Simulation Results The simulation results are shown in Fig2. Because most of the simulated X variables do not contribute to the relation with Y, we use the area under the precision recall curve, PRAUC, to assess the method's capability to separate the truly contributing X variables from the rest. We present part of the simulation results in FIG2, and the full simulation results are in S1 figure for AMI and JSVD. The embedded dimension K yielded better results, while for iCluster2, MOFA2, PLS and CCA, the embedded dimension of 3 yielded better results. Thumbnail download. To PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 2. Simulation results. PRAUC was used to assess each method's success in selecting the true contributing variables. A. All relations are nonlinear. B. The relations are mixed between nonlinear and linear. X axis, sample size. Y axis, PRAUC values. For full simulation results, please see S1 figure the significance levels by Wilcox and test against the CCA results were labeled on the plots, P less than or equal to 0.01, P less than or equal to 0.001. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0002. When the relation between X and Y were purely nonlinear, Fig 2A, among all the six methods, only Amy could extract the contributing X variables. However, it required the sample size to be relatively large. For example, when 20 X variables contributed to the relation between X and Y, and 400 Y variables, out of 1000, were impacted, Amy achieved reasonably good PRAUC when the sample size was 5000 or higher and there is some moderate correlation. Rho equals 0.3, between the X variables. 
when higher number of y variables were associated with the x variables, 800 out of 1000, fig 2a, middle and right column, the power to select the contributing x variables became higher. Interestingly, we observed that the power was higher when there was a moderate level of correlations, 0.3, among all the x variables, fig 2a, second row, as compared with the scenarios of no correlation, fig 2a, first row. Overall, due to the intrinsic difficulty in capturing nonlinear relations, usually higher sample size, greater than or equal to 1000, was required to achieve moderate or higher PRAUC levels. We next examined the situation where the relation between X and Y were mixed, fig 2b. When there was no correlation between the X variables, fig 2b, first row, all six methods performed similarly, with PLS, CCA and I cluster 2 leading the performance when the sample size was small. Amy, PLS, CCA and I cluster 2 performed similarly when the sample size was moderate, 1000, or higher. When some pervasive correlations exist between the X variables, rho equals 0.3, Amy achieves similar level of performance as PLS and CCA at very low sample size of 200, indicating the capability of neural networks even in the situation of NP, i.e. sample size much smaller than variable count. When the sample size was moderate, 1000, or higher, Amy actually led the pack in performance. When all the relations between X and Y were linear, S1 fig, right column, the relative performance of the methods were similar to that of the mixed situation, fig 2b. Again we saw Amy was comparable to PLS, CCA, I cluster 2 and MOFA 2 even at very small sample size, and rose to an overall better performance when the sample size was moderate, 1000, or higher, especially in cases where correlations exist between the X variables, S1 fig, right column. Overall, Amy was the only method that could pick up nonlinear relations, and it was a strong competitor when the signal was linear or mixed. 3.2 Cancer Cell Line Encyclopedia, CCLE, MicroRNA and Gene Expression Dataset. In this study, we analyzed the sequencing-based microRNA and gene expression data of CCLE. After mapping cell lines between the two omics data types, the datasets contained 942 cell lines. The data matrices were transformed by log 10x plus 1 transformation. We filtered the Mirna data using the criterion of coefficient of variation, CV, greater than 0.1, which yielded 700 miRNAs. We filtered the gene expression data using the criteria of percent of zeros less than 25%, and CV greater than 0.5, which yielded 14,997 genes. After selection of hyperparameters, we used the setting of three input layers, four output layers, and dropout rate of 0.3. We also ran CCA, PLS, iCluster2, SNF, JSVD and MOFA2 on the dataset. The PLS results were qualitatively similar to the CCA results. Hence we present the results from Amy, CCA, iCluster2, JSVD, SNF and MOFA2 here. As SNF doesn't directly produce data embedding, we resorted to applying PCA on the overall status matrix derived by SNF. For both CCA, iCluster2, JSVD, SNF and MOFA2, we tried both the original data after log transformation, as well as standardizing the data by removing mean and dividing by standard deviation for each variable. The embedding results were similar. Here we present results from the standardized data. Fig3 shows the data embedding obtained by Amy and CCA. Each point represents a cell line. Amy, Fig3, subplots in the upper right triangle, separated several types of cancers from the others, such as hematopoietic and lymphoid cancers, red, autonomic ganglia cancer, black, pancreas cancer, orange, and skin cancer, dark cyan. In addition, some cancer types were further separated into clusters. On the other hand, the data points were more mixed in the CCA embedding, Fig3, subplots in the lower left triangle, and there was no finer clustering pattern within each color. The behavior of MOFA2, iCluster2, and JSVD were qualitatively similar to that of CCA, with iCluster2 and JSVD showing more cancer type separation, S2, S3 and S4 figs. SNF yielded a distinctively different pattern, S5 fig, with some classes better separated. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig3. Comparing Amy and CCA results using the CCLE microRNA and gene expression data. The corresponding MOFA2 results are in S2 figure. https colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.peakb.1009826.go03. 
As pairwise plots may be misleading in terms of class separation, we further analyze the embedded data. We examined the k-nearest neighbors, k equals 120, of each data point, and calculated the average proportion of the neighbors being from the same cancer type. Given that Amy model fitting is stochastic, we repeated the process 10 times, and plotted results from the 10 repeats, which agree reasonably well, fig 4. Overall, Amy attained the highest proportion at all k values, followed by SNF and I. Cluster 2. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 4. Proportion of nearest neighbors of each data point to be from the same cancer class in the embedded data. The k nearest neighbors, k equals 1 to 20, were considered. For Amy, results from 10 repeats were presented. https colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0 4. As we notice finer cluster structure within some cancer types in the AMI results, we further examine the AMI embedding by taking the two largest cancer types, lung cancer and hematopoietic and lymphoid cancer. We colored the data points by cancer subtypes and manually rotated the view within the first three dimensions of the AMI embedded data, Fig 5. We found that the AMI embedding separated some cancer subtypes reasonably well. Among the lung cancer subtypes, blue text labels in Fig 5, small cell carcinoma was clearly separated from the rest, and squamous cell carcinoma was partially separated. The other three subtypes, adenocarcinoma, large cell carcinoma and non-small cell carcinoma were mixed together, indicating their molecular similarity. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 5. Detailed examination of the two dominant cancer types, lung and hematopoietic and lymphoid tissue. The points are colored using the cancer subtypes. The dominant subtypes of each region are labeled on the plot. Blue circle in text, lung cancer subtypes, brown circle in text, subtypes of cancer of hematopoietic and lymphoid tissue origin. When two subtypes are inseparable, their subtypes labels are written together https colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0005. There are many subtypes of hematopoietic and lymphoid cancer. Some were clearly separable from the rest, including acute lymphoblastic T-cell leukemia, acute lymphoblastic B-cell leukemia, and plasma cell myeloma, brown text labels in Fig 5. Some subtype pairs were mixed together, but separated from other subtypes, such as Burkitt lymphoma and diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Acute myeloid leukemia and blast phase chronic myeloid leukemia were also mixed together, but partially separable from the rest. Overall, Amy was able to distinguish cancer types and subtypes much clearer in its embedding, as compared to CCA, I-Cluster 2, JSVD, SNF and MOFA 2. We then examined the most influential miRNAs found by Amy. We ran the same parameter setting 10 times, and averaged the variable important scores. The agreement between the 10 runs were very good, the average pairwise correlation between the important scores being 0.84. We set the FDR threshold at 0.001, which yielded 35 miRNAs, S6FIG. For each of these 35 miRNAs, we used the same gamma distribution-based FDR procedure to select the genes most influenced by it. Again, the Mirna gene influence score was aggregated from 10 runs at the same hyperparameter setting. The 10 runs had very good agreement, with an average correlation of 0.73 between the Mirna gene influence scores. S6FIG shows an example local FDR fitting result. We note that some miRNAs showed a strong impact on a specific set of genes, while some others have a more nonspecific impact, indicated by their high overall impact score, yet very few genes were selected for the Mirna using the local FDR procedure as the local FDR procedure only select genes that stand out from the background. As a compromise, when the local FDR procedure selected less than 10 genes for a specific Mirna, we allowed its top 10 genes to enter the list. The above procedure yielded a total of 2,579 Mirna gene relations at the Mirna gene FDR level of 10 minus 4. Among them, 358 were validated by the multi-MIR package, which queries multiple sources for experimentally and computationally validated MIRNA targets, 33. The proportion of the relations validated, 13.9%, is 2.06-fold of the background, 6.73%, among the 35 miRNAs and all the genes under study, indicating an informative selection of MIRNA gene pairs. 
As there were two FDR thresholds involved in the selection, to ensure the robustness of the results, we varied the FDR threshold for Mirna importance, as well as the FDR threshold Mirna gene pairs, and calculated the ratio between the validated proportion of selected Mirna gene pairs vs the background validation rate of the selected miRNAs. As shown in S7 fig, the ratio tended to be higher when both FDR thresholds were more stringent. For illustration purposes, we further narrowed down to the top 10 miRNAs by using an FDR threshold of 10-7. For these 10 miRNAs, a total of 437 Mirna gene pairs were identified at Mirna gene FDR of 10-5, among which 110, 25.2%, were validated by multi-mir, representing a 3.28-fold increase over the baseline. The Mirna gene graph is shown in Fig 6, with validated Mirna gene relations colored in blue. Among the two miRNAs with highest number of connections, Mamata 000264, has MIR-206, is a known suppressor of breast cancer metastasis, 34, Mamata 000617, Samir 200 c is a known regulator of pancreatic cancer invasion and proliferation, 35. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN Glarger image. TIFF original image. Fig 6. Top 10 microRNAs, FDR less than or equal to 10 minus 7, in their associated genes, FDR less than or equal to 10 minus 5, in the CCLE data. Red nodes, microRNAs, blue nodes slash edges, validated by multi, mir. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0006. For a further functional comparison between AMI, CCA, I cluster 2 and MOFA 2 results, we use the top 35 miRNAs selected by AMI. Given the other methods do not generate p-value or FDR for miRNAs, we selected the top 35 miRNAs using CCA, I cluster 2, and MOFA 2 respectively, by ranking the sum of squared loading of the miRNAs. There were reasonably good overlap between the lists of miRNAs selected by the methods, Fig 7a. 11 miRNAs were selected by all four methods. CCA and MOFA2, both of which are linear methods, showed better agreements by sharing another 12 selected miRNAs. Amy selected 14 miRNAs that didn't overlap with the other three methods. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN Glarger image. TIFF original image. Fig 7. Venn diagram of the top microRNAs, top genes, and functional analysis of the top genes. Notice the functional analysis results of the microRNAs are in Table 1. A. Venn diagram of the top 35 microRNAs selected by Amy, FDR less than or equal to 0.01, and the top 35 microRNAs from CCA, I cluster 2 and MOFA 2. B. Venn diagram of the top 286 genes selected by Amy, FDR less than or equal to 0.05, and the top 286 genes from CCA, I cluster 2 and MOFA 2. C. The overrepresented pathways, FDR less than or equal to 0.05, with 10500 genes. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0007. Using MIRPATH 3.0, 36, we compared the functional annotations of the 14 miRNAs selected by Amy alone, versus the 11 miRNAs that were shared by all four methods, Table 1. P-values by MIRPATH 3.0 were adjusted to FDR using the benjamini hochberg method. Among the top 10 pathways associated with the 14 miRNAs selected by Amy, three were insignificant, FDR greater than 0.2, when analyzing the 11 miRNAs selected by all methods. They include a signaling pathway closely related to cancer, PCAC signaling pathway, as well as a pathway that is critical in cancer cell microenvironment, extracellular matrix, ECM, interactions. The results indicated that Amy was able to identify some important aspects of the data that complement other existing methods. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN Glarger image. TIFF original image. Table 1. Top 10 pathways of selected miRNAs from the CCLE data using MIRPATH 3.0 hash. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0001. We next examine the top genes selected by the four methods. While Amy selected Mirna gene pairs, the other three methods do not yield such detailed results. 
For a fair comparison, for each gene, we aggregated the impact scores from all miRNAs and selected the top 286, FDR less than or equal to 0.05, genes using the gamma distribution-based local FDR procedure. Given the other methods do not generate p-value or FDR for genes, we also selected the top 286 genes by CCA, iCluster2 and MOFA2 respectively, by ranking the sum of squared loading of the genes. iCluster2 and CCA had a moderate level of overlap, while Amy and MOFA2 had low overlap with the other methods, FIG7b. We then conducted gene set enrichment analysis using the FASTC, FC, package, 37, which uses the ranking information of all genes. We selected reactome pathways that contain 100-500 genes, with FDR less than or equal to 0.05, FIG7C. The majority of the pathways found by any of the four methods were either signal transduction pathways or immune system pathways. There were also a small number of metabolism slash transport pathways. AMI yielded the most number of significant pathways, including uniquely identifying G-protein coupled receptor, GPCR, pathways that play significant roles in cancer. We note that the pathways on the MIRNA side were mostly signaling pathways, while the pathways on the gene side include more downstream processes. This agrees with the fact that miRNAs play a more regulatory role, and through signal transduction, they can impact a variety of downstream processes. Overall, we found that AMI yielded results that complement existing methods. Given the complexity of the data, each method may only extract part of the information. Combined with the fact that Amy generated embedding that better separated cancer types and subtypes, we believe that Amy detected patterns in the data that can add to what was extracted by existing methods. 3.3 TCGA BRCA microRNA and gene expression dataset. We analyzed the TCGA breast cancer microRNA and gene expression datasets, 29. After log transforming both data matrices, we matched the common subjects in which both data were measured. We then filtered the microRNA data by selecting microRNAs with a coefficient of variation, CV, larger than 0.25, and filtered the gene expression data by selecting genes with less than 20% zeros, and with a CV larger than 0.2. The resulting matrix dimensions were 451 times 242 for the microRNA data, and 451 times 6086 for the gene expression data. We then used the microRNA data as input, and the gene expression data as output. First we ran the analysis without adjusting for any confounder. The method selected 4 layers for the encoder and 5 layers for the decoder, and a dropout rate of 0.2. The resulting embedded data is shown in Fig 8, upper right triangle. We can see that clearly the embedded data were separated based on the PAM50, ProSigna Breast Cancer Prognostic Gene Signature Assay, subtypes, which is based on a multi-gene signature for risk stratification, 38 as the ER, estrogen receptor, status is highly correlated with the PAM50 score, the embedded data also separated the subjects based on ER status very well, S8 fig. Analyzing the dataset using MOFA2, S9 and S10 figs, CCA, S11 and S12 figs, JSVD, S13 and S14 figs, I cluster 2, S15 and S16 figs, and SNF, S17 and S18 figs, yielded similar separations. All methods achieved a separation with the subtype luminal A on one side, and basal-like on the other end. The other two subtypes were in the middle. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN Glarger image. TIFF original image. Fig 8. Amy results using TCGA MIRNA and gene expression data, with and without adjusting for confounders including age, T1, tumor size, status, and estrogen receptor, ER, status. Points are colored based on PAM50, ProSigna Breast Cancer Prognostic Gene Signature Assay, subtypes. Upper right subplots, without adjustment for confounders, lower left subplots, with adjustment for confounders. https colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pb.1009826.0008. Again, as pairwise plots may be misleading, we further analyze the embedded data. We examined the k nearest neighbors, k equals 120, of each data point, and calculated the proportions of the neighbors being from the same cancer type. We repeated the AMI analysis 10 times, and plotted results from the 10 repeats, which agree reasonably well, Fig 9. Overall, AMI and SNF attained better results, with AMI separating the ER groups better, and SNF separating the PAM50 groups better. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN Glarger image. TIFF original image. 
Fig 9. Proportion of nearest neighbors of each data point to be from the same class in the embedded data. The k nearest neighbors, k equals 1 to 20, were considered. A. Using ER status as class label. B. Using PAM 50 group as class label. For Amy, results from 10 repeats were presented. HTTPS colon slash slash DOI dot org slash 10 dot 1371 slash journal dot pp dot 1009826 dot go 9. It is well known that ER status is a major factor in breast cancer, and this cancer subtype could dominate MIRNA and gene expression patterns. It is unclear whether the embedded point patterns were caused by the dominating ER factor, and whether the impact on expression by T1 status, tumor size, overlaps that of ER status. Among all the methods tested, only Amy can answer these questions, be adding ER status and or T1 status as confounders in the model. First, we adjusted for age plus T1 and age plus ER separately. Adjusting for age plus T1 wasn't able to remove the point separation between PAM50 subtypes, S19 fig, or ER status, S20 fig, indicating if the T1 status has some impact on the Mirna gene relations, the signal is unrelated to that of ER status. As expected, when adjusting for age plus ER status, the separation by PAM50 or ER disappeared, S21 and S22 figs. To maximally remove the impact of the known factors, we then adjusted for age, T1, tumor size, status, and ER status in the analysis. The purpose was to find any Mirna gene relations that were independent from age, T1, and ER status. The resulting embedded data clearly lost the relation with PAM50 subtypes, with all four PAM50 subtypes mixed together, Fig8, subplots in the lower left triangle. Similar effect was observed with ER status, S8 Fig, subplots in the lower left triangle. In the adjusted analysis, the method selected five layers for the encoder, four layers for the decoder, and a dropout rate of 0.2. We repeated the analysis 10 times at this setting, and averaged the important scores. At the FDR level of 0.1, 16 miRNAs were significant based on the gamma distribution-based FDR analysis. The same procedure as in the previous section was used to select Mirna gene pairs. At the Mirna gene FDR level of 0.01, a total of 2,646 Mirna gene relations were identified, among which 334 were validated by the multi-mir package, 33. The proportion of the relations validated, 12.6%, was 1.51 fold of the background, 8.3%, among the 16 miRNAs in all the genes under study, indicating an informative selection of Mirna gene pairs. The fold change was not as substantial as in the CCLE data. However, we note that due to the data being from the same cancer, and the adjustment for ER and T1 status, the signal was more subtle in the current analysis. To ensure the robustness of the results, we varied the FDR threshold for Mirna importance, as well as the FDR threshold Mirna gene pairs, and calculated the ratio between the validated proportion of selected Mirna gene pairs vs the background validation rate of the selected miRNAs. As shown in S23 fig, the ratio tended to be higher when both FDR thresholds were more stringent. For illustration purposes, we further narrowed down to the top 5 miRNAs by using an FDR threshold of 0.01. For these five miRNAs, a total of 507 Mirna gene pairs were identified at the Mirna gene FDR of 0.001, among which 61, 12.0%, were validated by multi-mir, representing a 1.73-fold increase over the baseline, 6.96%. The Mirna gene graph is shown in Fig 10. Both of the two miRNAs with large number of connections, Mir33A and Mir150 are known to be associated with many tumors. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 10. The top five microRNAs, FDR less than or equal to 0.01, and their major associated genes, FDR less than or equal to 0.001, after adjusting for age, T1, tumor size, status, and estrogen receptor, ER, status. Red nodes, microRNAs, blue nodes slash edges, validated by multi, mir. HTTPS colon slash slash DOI dot org slash 10 dot 1371 slash journal dot pp dot 1009826 dot go 10. For comparison, we also selected the top 16 miRNAs from three other analyzes aiming without adjusting for confounders, iCluster2, and MOFA2. 
based on the Venn diagram, there was reasonable overlap between Amy underscore adjusted and Amy underscore unadjusted, while I cluster 2 and MOFA 2 tended to select different miRNAs, Big 11A. We then examined the functionality of the top 16 contributing microRNAs by applying Diana Mirpath B3.0, 36, followed by FDR adjustments using the Benjamini Hochberg method. Two pathways were selected by all methods the FOXO and TGF beta signaling pathways, Fig 11B, gray box. Amy underscore adjusted selected more pathways than Amy underscore unadjusted. It uniquely selected important pathways including estrogen signaling pathway and pancreatic cancer. Overall, each method reflected some aspects of signaling related to breast cancer. Given the similarity in data embedding patterns, this result is expected. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 11. Venn diagram of the top microRNAs in their functional analysis. A. Venn diagrams of the top 16 microRNAs selected by Amy underscore adjusted, FDR less than or equal to 0.1, and the top 16 microRNAs from Amy underscore unadjusted, MOFA 2, and I cluster 2. B. The overrepresented pathways, FDR less than or equal to 0.01, using mere path 3.0. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0 11. Following the same procedure described in the previous section, we selected the top 270 genes from Amy underscore adjusted results using the gamma distribution based FDR approach at FDR level of 0.1. We also selected the top 270 genes from the other three approaches Amy underscore unadjusted, I cluster 2, and MOFA 2. Similar to the Mirna overlaps, there was reasonable overlap between Amy underscore adjusted and Amy underscore unadjusted, while I cluster 2 and MOFA 2 tended to select different genes than others, Fig 12a. Thumbnail download. The PowerPoint slide. PN larger image. TIFF original image. Fig 12. Venn diagram of the top genes and functional analysis of the top genes. A. Venn diagram of the top 270 genes selected by Amy underscore adjusted, FDR less than or equal to 0.1, and the top 270 genes from Amy underscore unadjusted, MOFA 2 and I cluster 2. B. The overrepresented pathways, FDR less than or equal to 0.1, with 100-500 genes. Group 1. Pathway selected by MOFA 2, Amy underscore adjusted and Amy underscore unadjusted. Group 2. Pathway selected by Amy underscore adjusted and Amy underscore unadjusted. Group 3. Pathway selected by Amy underscore adjusted and MOFA 2. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.0012. We then conducted gene set enrichment analysis using the FASTC, FC package, 37, which uses the ranking information of all genes. We selected reactome pathways that contain 100 to 500 genes, with FDR less than or equal to 0.1, FIG12B. All methods selected the hemostasis pathway, which includes platelets, coagulation, and fibrinolysis, and is known to mediate tumor cell transformation, proliferation, and survival, 39. A group of pathways that are involved in cell cycle and immune system were selected by all methods except I cluster 2, Fig 12B, Label 1. Amy underscore adjusted and Amy underscore unadjusted both selected G protein coupled receptor pathways and extracellular matrix organization, Fig 12B, Label 2, indicating their role in cancer regulation independent of ER and T1 status. Amy underscore unadjusted and MOFA2 both selected RHOGT PACE pathways, which are critical in wound healing and cell migration, both of which are important aspects of cancer, Fig 12B, Label 3. Overall, Amy underscore adjusted selected the largest number of pathways, most of which have clear association with cancer. Among the four methods in this comparison, only Amy underscore adjusted was able to remove the dominant effects of ER and potentially other contributions by T1 status and age. Thus the remaining embedding patterns and the corresponding Mirna contributions were independent from ER, T1 and H. Given the FDR approach still identified significant miRNAs and Mirna gene pairs, the detected relations were likely to be real. Indeed they point to miRNAs and biological functions that traditional methods didn't find, validating the value of the new approach. 3.4. Discussions. Amy can be seen as a nonlinear equivalent to CCA, with the added capability to adjust for confounder variables. 
besides being able to extract nonlinear relationships that traditional methods cannot. When sample size is large enough, AMI is even more effective than traditional linear methods such as CCA, PLS, JSVD, iCluster2 and MOFA2 in extracting linear relationships. In real data applications, AMI was able to exclude the influence of unwanted confounders and extract novel patterns. The results were easily interpretable. We believe AMI is a valuable addition to the current methods of omics data integrative analyzes. The current setup of the AMI model only allows the analysis of two data types at a time. To analyze multiple data types jointly requires major modifications to the structure of the neural network. One possible route is to put all data types in the input, reduce each data type to a lower dimension nonlinearly, and use a loss function that encourages agreement between the nonlinear embeddings. We will pursue this in future studies. Supporting information. Full simulation result. Showing 123, peakme.1009826.so01.tiff. Skip to Figshare navigation. HTTPS colon slash slash downloader.fixtatic.com slash files slash 3389965 slash preview slash 3389965 slash preview.jpg. 123. Download. Figshare. S1 figure full simulation result. PRAUC was used to assess each method's success in selecting the true contributing variables. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so01. TIF. S2 figure MOFA 2 results of CCLE Mirna and Gene expression data. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so02. TIF. S3 figure JSVD results of CCLE Mirna and Gene expression data. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so03. TIF. S4 figure I cluster 2 results of CCLE Mirna and Gene expression data. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so04. TIF. S5 figure SNF results of CCLE Mirna and Gene expression data. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so05. TIF. S6 figure example plots from the local FDR procedure. A. Fitting the Mirna importance score of the CCLE data and determining the threshold. B. Fitting the gene score for a single Mirna and determining the threshold. Red curve, estimated null component density, blue bar, selected threshold. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so06. TIF. S7 figure CCLE data, proportion of validated Mirna gene pairs, expressed as fold change over random pairs between A gene and the selected miRNAs at each Mirna threshold. Color curves, different FDR cutoffs to select top miRNAs. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so07. TIF. S8 figure AMI results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data, with and without adjusting for confounders including age, T1, tumor size, status, and estrogen receptor, ER, status. Points are colored based on ER status. Upper right subplots, without adjustment for confounders, lower left subplots, with adjustment for confounders. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so08. TIF. S9 figure MOFA2 results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on PAM50, ProSigna Breast Cancer Prognostic Gene Signature Assay, subtypes. HTTPS colon slash slash doi.org slash 10.1371 slash journal.pp.1009826.so09. TIF. S10 figure MOFA2 results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on ER status. 
https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o one o tif s eleven figure cca results using tcga mirna and gene expression data points are colored based on pam fifty prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay subtypes https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o one one tif s twelve figure cca results using tcga mirna and gene expression data points are colored based on er status https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o one two TIF S13 figure JSVD results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on PAM50, Prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay, subtypes. https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one three TIF S14 figure JSVD results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on ER status. https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one four TIF S fifteen figure I cluster two results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on PAM fifty, Prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay, subtypes https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one five tif s sixteen figure i cluster two results using tcga mirna and gene expression data points are colored based on er status https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one six TIF S17 figure SNF results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on PAM50, Prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay, subtypes. https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one seven TIF S18 figure SNF results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data. Points are colored based on ER status. https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so one eight TIF S fifteen figure Amy results using TCGA Mirna and gene expression data, adjusting for confounders including age and T1, tumor size, status. Points are colored based on PAM fifty, Prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay, subtypes https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o one nine tif s twenty figure amy results using tcga mirna and gene expression data adjusting for confounders including age and t one tumor size status points are colored based on er status https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o two o tif s twenty one figure amy results using tcga mirna and gene expression data adjusting for confounders including age and er status points are colored based on pam fifty prosigna breast cancer prognostic gene signature assay subtypes https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so two one tif s twenty two figure amy results using tcga mirna and gene expression data adjusting for confounders including age and er status points are colored based on er status https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot pp dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot s o two two tif s twenty three figure brca data proportion of validated mirna gene pairs expressed as fold change over random pairs between any gene in the selected mirnas at each mirna threshold color curves different fdr cutoffs to select top mirnas 
https colon slash slash doi dot org slash ten dot thirteen seventy one slash journal dot peak b dot one oh oh nine eight two six dot so two three tif acknowledgments the author thanks dr yunchuan kong and dr hao wu for helpful discussions references one dot hodling h relations between two sets of baryots biometrica 1936 semicolon 28 3 quarters, 321 to 77. 2. Dot, Sofo S.E., Lee S., Long Q. Integrative Analysis of Transcriptomic and Metabolomic Data via Sparse Canonical Correlation Analysis with Incorporation of Biological Information. Biometrics. 2018 semicolon 74 1, 300 to 12. EPUB May 10, 2017. PID colon 28482123, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 5677597. 3. Hoskulds and APLS Regression Methods. Journal of Chemometrics. 1988 semicolon 2 to 211 to 28. 4. LIPL, 5C Kernel and Nonlinear Canonical Correlation Analysis. In J Neural Cyst. 2000 semicolon 10 5, 365 to 77. EPUB February 24, 2001. PIN colon 1119536. 5. Andrew G., Aurora R., Vilmus J., Lives UK, Editors. Deep Canonical Correlation Analysis. Proceedings of the 30th International Conference on Machine Learning, PMLR, 2013. 6. Shen R., Olshan Ab., Ladany M. Integrative clustering of multiple genomic data types using a joint latent variable model with application to breast and lung cancer subtype analysis. Bioinformatics. 2009 semicolon 2922, 2906-12. EPUB September 18, 2009. PIN colon 1975-9197, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 2800366. 7. Rappaport N. Shamir R. Multi Omic and Multi View Clustering Algorithms, Review and Cancer Benchmark. Nucleic Acids Rees. 2019 Semicolon 472, 1044. EPUB November 30, 2018. PID colon 3049640. PubMed Central Visit, PMC 6344869. 8. Argolagat R. Arnold D. Bredekin D. Delora Y. Felton B. Marioni J. C. et al. MOFA Plus, a statistical framework for comprehensive integration of multimodal single cell data. Genome Biol. 2020 semicolon 211, 111. EPUB May 13, 2020. PID colon 32393329. PubMed Central Visit, PMC 7212577. 9. Argolagat R. Felton B. Arnold D. Dietrich S. Zenz T. Marioni J. C. et al. Multiomics Factor Analysis A Framework for Unsupervised Integration of Multiomics Data Sets. Molsys Biol. 2018 Semicolon 14.6, E8124. EPUB June 22, 2018. PID colon 2992568. PubMed Central Pzid, PMC 6010767. 10. Pfeffer M. Ushmaju A. Amaro A. Pfeffer U Data Fusion Techniques for the Integration of Multi Domain Genomic Data from Uveal Melanoma. Cancers, Basel. 2019 semicolon 1110. EPUB September 29, 2019. PID colon 31561508. PubMed Central Visit, PMC 68267601. 11. Wang B. Metzlini A. M. Damir F. Fiume M. 2 Z. Bruno M. et al. Similarity Network Fusion for Aggregating Data Types on a Genomic Scale. NAT Methods. 2014 semicolon 113, 333-7. EPUB January 28, 2014. PID colon 2446427. 12. Tan J, Ung M, Cheng C, Green C S. Unsupervised feature construction and knowledge extraction from genome-wide assays of breast cancer with denoising autoencoders. PacSim Biocompute. 2015-132-43. EPUB January 17, 2015. PID colon 2559275, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 4299935. 13. Erasalyn G, Simon L M, Mercia M, Muller N S, Thais F J. Single cell RNA sec denoising using a deep count autoencoder. Nat Coman. 2019 semicolon 101, 390. EPUB January 25, 2019. 
PIN colon 306748866, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 6344535. 14. Talwar D, Mangia A, Sengupta D, Majumdar A Auto Impute, Auto Encoder Based Imputation of Single Cell RNA Sec Data. Psi Rep. 2018 Semicolon 81, 16329. EPUB November 7, 2018. Pin colon 303972400, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 6218547. 15. Panex, Fanex, Yan J, Shen HB. IP Miner, Hidden Kernel Protein Interaction Sequential Pattern Mining with Stacked Autoencoder for Accurate Computational Prediction. BMC Genomics. 2016 Semicolon 17 to 582. EPUB August 11, 2016. PID colon 27506469. PubMed Central Visit. PMC 4979166. 16. Gligor Yevich V. Barod M. Banoar Deep. Deep Network Fusion for Protein Function Prediction. Bioinformatics. 2018 semicolon 3422, 3873-81. EPUB June 6, 2018. PIN colon 2986875-8. PubMed Central PZID, PMC 6223364. 17. Donnie P. Gayen E.R. Hendricks D.A. A Deep Learning Approach for Cancer Detection and Relevant Gene Identification. PacSim Biocompute. 2017 semicolon 22 to 219 to 29. EPUB November 30th, 2016. PID colon 27896977. PubMed Central PID. PMC 5177447. 18. Peng J. Guan J. Shang X predicting Parkinson's disease genes based on Node 2 VEC and autoencoder. Front Genet. 2019 semicolon 10 to 226. EPUB April 20th, 2019. PID colon 31001311, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 6454041. 19. Wang D, Gu J. Vosk, Dimension Reduction and Visualization of Single Cell RNA Sec Data by Deep Variational Autoencoder. Genomics Proteomics Bioinformatics. 2018 Semicolon 165, 320-31. EPUB December 24, 2018. PID colon 305767400, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 6364131. 20. La L, Patterson A, White M, Editors. Supervised Autoencoders, Improving Generalization Performance with Unsupervised Regularizers. The 32nd International Conference on Neural Information Processing Systems, 2018. 21. Chowdhury K, Porian OB, Lu L, Garmeyer LX. Deep learning-based multi-omics integration robustly predicts survival in liver cancer. Clean Cancer Rees. 2018 semicolon 246, 1248 to 59. EPUB October 7, 2017. PID colon 28982688, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 6050171. 22. Liang M, Li Z, Chen T, Zeng J Integrative Data Analysis of Multi-Platform Cancer Data with a Multimodal Deep Learning Approach. IEEE slash ACM Trans Compu Bio Bio Inform. 2015 semicolon 12.4, EPUB September 12, 2015. PID colon 2635733. 23. ZUOC, Chen L Deep Joint Learning Analysis Model of Single Cell Transcriptome and Open Chromatin Accessibility Data. Brief Bioinform. 2020. EPUB November 18, 2020. PIN colon 3320787. 24. Chalet FHTTPS colon slash slash github.com slash shallot slash caris 2015. 25. E. B. Large Scale Simultaneous Hypothesis Testing The Choice of a Null Hypothesis. J. Amerstad Associates 2004 Semicolon 99 colon 96 to 104. 26. Mardia KV. Measures of Multivariate Skewnies and Kurtosis with Applications. Biometrica. 1970 Semicolon 159 3, 519 to 30. 27. Hasty T. Tib Sharani R. Friedman J. H. The Elements of Statistical Learning, Data Mining, Inference, and Prediction. 2nd ed. New York, New York, Springer, 2009. 22, 745 p. p. 28. Gandhi M. Huang F. W., Jane Valbuena J., Kriukov G. V., Low C. C., McDonald E. R. Third, et al. Next Generation Characterization of the Cancer Cell Line Encyclopedia. 
Nature. 2019 semicolon 569 7757, 503 to 8. EPUB May 10, 2019. PID colon 31068700, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 6697103. 29. Cancer Genome Atlas and Comprehensive Molecular Portraits of Human Breast Tumors. Nature. 2012 Semicolon 497,418, 61 to 70. EPUB September 25, 2012. PID colon 2300897, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 3465532. 30. Robert F., Gautier B., Singh A., Lakau Ka. Mix Omics, and our package for Omics feature selection and multiple data integration. Close Compute Bio. 2017 Semicolon 1311, E1005752. EPUB November 4, 2017. PID colon 2909853, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 5687754. 31. Shan R., Mo Q., Schultz N., Shan Vey, Olshan Ab, Hughes J., et al. Integrative Subtype Discovery in Glioblastoma Using iCluster. Close 1. 2012 Semicolon 7-4, E35236. EPUB April 28, 2012. PID colon 2253992, PubMed Central Pizid, PMC 3335101. 32. Timmerman Me, Here's How. Four simultaneous component models for the analysis of multivariate time series from more than one subject to model intra-individual and inter-individual differences. Psychometrica. 2003 semicolon 68 to 105 to 21. 33. Dot, Ru Y, Kekris KJ, Tabakoff B, Hoffman P, Radcliffe R A, Bowler R, et al. The multi-mirror package and database, integration of microRNA target interactions along with their disease and drug associations. Nucleic acids res. 2014 semicolon 4217, E133. EPUB July 27, 2014. PID colon 2506-3298, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 41761554. 34.Samekia R, Adorno Cruz V, Bachhorn J, Changyuf, Huang S, Pratt A, et al. MIR-206 inhibits stemness and metastasis of breast cancer by targeting MKL-1 IL-11 pathway. Kling Cancer Rees. 2017 Semicolon 1093 EPUB July 21, 2016. PID colon 2743-5395, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 524-7402. 35.UJ, Ohu Chita K, Mizumido K, Sato N, Kiyoshima T, Fujita H, et al. MicroRNA, Samir 200C, is an independent prognostic factor in pancreatic cancer and its upregulation inhibits pancreatic cancer invasion but increases cell proliferation. Mole Cancer. 2010 semicolon 9 to 169. EPUB June 29, 2010. PID colon 20579395. PubMed Central PZID, PMC 2909980. 36. Vlakos is, Zaganis K, Paris Kavapalu MD, George Aquilas G, Karag County D, Virgulis T, et al. Diana Mirpath B3.0, deciphering microRNA function with experimental support. Nucleic acids res. 2015 semicolon 43W1, W466. EPUB May 16, 2015. PID colon 2597-7294, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 4489228. 37.Korokovich G, Sukov V, Sergushichev A Fast Gene Set Enrichment Analysis. Bioworksiv. 2019, http colon slash slash bioworksiv.org slash content slash early slash 2016 slash 06 slash 20 slash 060012. 38. Parker J. S., Mullins M., Chang M. C., Lung S., Vajik D., Vickery T., et al. Supervised Risk Predictor of Breast Cancer Based on Intrinsic Subtypes. J. Clin on Call. 2009 Semicolon 27 8, 1160 7. EPUB February 11, 2009. PID colon 1920424, PubMed Central PZID, PMC 2667820. 39.Lol I, Didis K, Home C E. Platelets, Coagulation and Fibrinolysis in Breast Cancer Progression. Breast Cancer Rees. 2013 Semicolon 154, 207. EPUB August 3, 2013. 
PIN colon 23905544, PubMed Central Visit, PMC 3979075, Amy, Auto Encoder Based Integrative Multiomics Data Embedding that allows for confounder adjustments. Abstract. In the integrative analyses of omics data,